Hey everyone, so this video is going to go out to uh, the race realists who finally found my video. Hey, Ruka didn't allow it as a response last I checked, so I'm glad you guys found it. Um, but I wanted to give you some pointers on strategy. The first is regarding your catchphrase, anti-racist is anti-white. Now I'm not sure where the origins are, but it's a terrible catchphrase. And you won't spot sophisticated racists like fringe elements using it, at least as far as I've watched his videos. Now, the thing about this catchphrase is a lot of like uh, slogans are pretty stupid and vacuous, but they have to have words in them that make them sound kind of feasible and kind of like something you'd agree with. It's like, it's all about freedom. I support your right to be an individual. You know, that kind of bullshit. Anti-racist is anti-white. That doesn't work on anyone except people who are already racist. Because you're saying, first of all, you're implying that anti-racist is bad. But you probably don't want to imply that because you're not a racist, right? You're like some kind of a race realist. So you have to say like anti-race realist. Um, and then you're doing this anti-white thing. And that, you know, people are going to be like, white, oh, what's this weird racial angle? Um, so really it's not a very good slogan you could be doing a lot better it's like just it won't work for you the second point on that is you all come into the channel and that's your first or second response usually your first you paste that slogan in there at the beginning or the end or both um, and that's not a good strategy because if you didn't do that and you all just cooperated you were like Mm, they don't know who we are and then you just left a message and then you, I would reply and then another one of you could reply but not making it obvious yet that you're all together um, that would be a lot more effective because as it stands <laughs> when you all announce anti-racist is anti-white uh, what that just points out is oh those are the racists who say stupid things things now I can ignore all of them so that's probably not what you want unless you don't actually care about convincing anyone and you're just trying to get like a racist boner in which case I guess you know have fun um, you know watch some of the history channel I guess they have a lot of archive footage of Hitler or something um, and then now the final point now the final point is that when you watch I always compare you to the kind of gold standard, which is Fringe Elements. Um, he's one of the people that do a pretty good job. Um, when you listen to Fringe Elements, he couches it in a lot of like supposed science and then a lot of language that's very, oh, you know, very, very comforting and very non confrontational, right? And the most important thing is. When he talks about these things, he pretends like they're not really racist issues, you know? He's like, maybe he's a race separatist, but it's not really, it, it's certainly not about race in its stupid context of, well, I'm a white person, I'm superior to everyone else. Um, but let me just read one of your messages, uh, race realists, uh, from another white rabbit. Um, first of all, that username, like, again, that. Why does the white have to be in there? It's a bit silly. Answer my question, Church of SDFU. If you're such a proponent and lover of diversity, why do you want all people on earth to have brown eyes and brown skin? Because that is not my understanding of the meaning of the word. First of all, um, if everyone on the planet had sexy time with other people far away on the planet like not at once in a big orgy also not necessarily everyone like with lots of other people but you know just people had partners from all over the place that would actually maximize genetic diversity um so that's one thing uh but getting back to the other part of that comment why do i want all people on earth to have brown eyes and brown skin well i don't but i also don't not want all people to have brown eyes and brown skin it just doesn't matter you see that's a pigment um having a fetish for a pigment that's uh just stupid 
that's silly. I mean, it's almost insane. You know, it's not. You're not talking about intelligence. You're not talking about how whites are more. I don't know, culturally sophisticated or some of that other bullshit that smarter racists uh, claim. You're saying, oh no, why don't you want our pigment to be around anymore? Um, it's a pigment. It's like it's a chemical that your body produces that tones your skin in a slightly different color. It's completely insignificant. You've got to go beyond that level. And a lot of your fellow racists have moved on. And if you ask one of them, I'm sure they will explain to you how your actions are not actually productive for your cause. So as I said, I don't know whether I should be giving you all of these tips because it seems kind of self-defeating, right? I'm on the opposite side. But I feel kind of bad um, because whilst your comments gave me some level of amusement, you know, it is sad to see that level of, of, um, of discourse happening at all. Um, so in the hopes that you will present a more satisfying target in the future and rise to the level of little fringe elements, um, please consider these suggestions.